Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the Glad Hill Torrent. So in this particular boiler, it's a thermal store unit what provides hot water. And the hot water is generated by two immersion heaters. One here and one at the bottom. Anyway, the back story about this particular cylinder is the customer called out another engineer and the customer's complaint was there was getting no hot water so this engineer came out to it started um, doing his diagnostics checking out what the problem was anyway he said the problem was the thermostats so there's a merge leader there he changed the thermostat inside that one and in that one and then he told the customer that there's another problem and he says that it needs new immersion heaters. So he quoted the customer about £750. Now at this point I'm going to call the customer in. They're going to explain what they experienced. And then we'll carry on. Okay Mr Customer, so if you can explain what happened when you called this other engineer out. So I called the other engineer and he said that it could have been multiple things that were causing it to you know, stop making hot water. And he didn't really know what it was, and that's what felt a bit weird. He said it could be the thermostat, could be the immersion heater, could be this, could be that. And by the end of it, he'd installed two new thermostats. And then he turned around and said, you're just going to have to get a whole new cylinder. And he billed me £2,700 for that. And I said, well, I'm going to need to get a second opinion before I'm going to part with that money, because I don't understand how it can be the whole cylinder need replacing when it's making hot water. Because I could tell it was making hot water, it feels warm, and a little bit comes out of the tap, but just then it goes cold. So then I spoke to somebody else, and you thought there might be the valve. Right, okay, thanks for that. Thanks. So you've heard this story of the customer, what he experienced from another engineer. So this engineer was a quite a young guy, inexperienced in electric boilers. So for me, he needs training, he needs to know about these type of systems and he probably doesn't understand any type of system like this so the problem is basically this is the problem this thermostatic mixer valve so it's hot here in fact i can't touch it it's hot at the back there and the customer already knows it's hot you can hear it <clears throat> you can feel it the temperature but there's nothing coming out at the tap here so that was it. That's all he needed to do. And you heard the story of what the customer said. So, it's a no-brainer. Guys like this person who came out to this boiler need training. So all you have to do is click on the link below. Find out more about the training, what I do, which can help you deal with these type of jobs. Okay, I'd like to ask you a question. Why are you watching this video? Is it you want to become an excellent boiler repair engineer? Or do you want to build the confidence to become a boiler repair engineer? Or three, do you want to build and increase your knowledge in heating systems and controls? No matter what the reason, I can teach you how to diagnose a fault and learn the techniques in replacing parts using my 30 years of knowledge and experience. And we can do this with our online and offline training program. And this training comes in four levels. So the first level is a foundational training, what you're going to need, which covers heating systems, hot water and controls training. Level two, that covers the boiler repair accelerated training. Now this covers gas and electric boiler repairs. Level three is our hands-on training, that's in the classroom and also on site. Level four, that's ongoing training via the Boy Repair Library. So, if you want to be the best engineer you can be, all you need to do is click on the link below and start improving yourself today.